it was a stinger right down the middle. Okay. It's a little past eight. I want to go ahead and get uh, rolling on the uh, captain's meet here. First off, I want to thank Jax for hosting us here tonight. Uh, don't forget to tip your bartenders, get you a drink, good food here. Not much has changed in over on our rules over the years. Our rules are online, so are our release forms. What's the 50-50 uh, Dolphin NC Leap? That money goes to NC Leap. If you don't know much about it, at the awards party, we'll have some information on that. And it's, it's amazing what it does. It saves lives. Don't forget to tip your bartenders. Let's get something to drink, stay hydrated, and everybody stay safe out there. Thank you very much for fishing. Beautiful. It was pretty. Came in off the teaser, uh, went right back onto the short, um, ate it running away, and just screamed all the way down. Um, and then we fought it for 40, 40, 40 something minutes. It was a good fight. It was great. It really was. Last couple days been real pretty. Love it. That's best thing happened. It was a stinger right down the middle that came up up behind the back of the boat and uh, took it. We saw it take it. Just took off. It was out there. It felt like about a mile out. <laughs> so I jumped in the chair and started drilling. So pretty fun. Seven. 383 point seven. 383 point seven. 30 minutes, man. Awesome. Uh, short, sweet. Uh, took a couple of times. Thanks, ran from us twice. Got her on a third. Decided to put her in the boat. So, I'm going to shoot a little bigger. But, that's all right. Hey, man. Thank you, buddy. Four eighty-four point three. Four eighty-four point three. 
Yeah, so we saw this, Hunter found this fish on the sonar. We made one circle, pulled the dredges up, and he came pulling in on the left side. Nailed it, made a couple jumps. Uh, but once we got everything in the boat and started settling down, the fish went down, stayed down. Uh, never made any more jumps. We didn't really get a good size on the fish until we got him up inside the boat and knew that he was a good one. But uh, everybody worked well together. It was a great team event. Good, good fish, good fish. A lot of fun. So we started the North Carolina Law Enforcement Assistance Program in 2011 um, with the help of Danny Leonard, chaplain. Although it's called the North Carolina Law Enforcement Assistance Program, we help all first responders. It doesn't matter if you show up on a truck, if you're holding a hose or if you're holding a gun. Man, we're all walking through this together. Man, some guys, we were, they were talking how they were raising money and how they raffle these guns off. And, but in the same breath, my buddy turned around, he was talking to somebody else. He goes, hey, you still want that raffle ticket for the Mercedes? And I was like, man, what is, what is he talking about, right? They were raffling off a thousand tickets for a hundred dollars a piece to win a Mercedes. And so I literally left them and went back to my room and called Barry, <laughs> Barry Matthews and said, hey man, do you think that we could raffle off like a Chevrolet pickup truck. And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, well, I told him the thing about a Mercedes. I don't know anybody wants a Mercedes, but I know some people might want a truck, right? And he said, I've got a rotary meeting tomorrow. I'll call you back. And the rest is history. He went back and talked to, to Justin and Brandon and all the guys there. And they came up with some ideas, different ideas. I think we initially were going for a golf cart, but they decided to do a TWT in the fishing tournament as a stopgap until they figured out what we were gonna do with the golf cart or a truck. After that second PCIS, we weren't gonna be able to do anymore. But because of the Swansville Rotary Club, because of this fishing tournament, man, we were able to change lives. So everybody that was in this tournament today, they should be able to go home and sleep well knowing at least one thing. They made a difference. They made a difference today. Good evening, can I get everybody's attention? I want to thank all y'all for coming out tonight for the awards party for the 44th annual Swansboro Rotary Blue Water Tournament. What a heck of a year. Let's give a round of applause. 77 boats. Tournament record. 77 boats and over three quarters of a million dollars in the pot. Richard, we can't thank you enough. We know you got passion for what the Rotary does. Your grandkids. They're getting ready to uh, have a big night, but uh, on behalf of the Swansboro Rotary Club, thank you so much. We're going to start things off with our first place junior angler game fish. On the bill collector with a 20.9 pound dolphin, Lily Foster. Are you here tonight? Awesome work. Congratulations, Lily. So that was our first place game fish. Now we're going to roll on to our first place junior angler billfish on the Desperado with 375 points, Gray Seegers. Are there any other junior anglers here tonight that fished the tournament this week? Come on up here. Thanks to the Real Outdoors, you're gonna get a free rod and reel. Thank you for participating. There you go. Lady Angler's in the house. First place Lady Angler Game Fish with a 19.6 pound dolphin. A name you're gonna hear a lot tonight, Marsh Madness, Taylor Wright. Come on up. First place Lady Angler on the billfish with 675 points, Ashley Harrell, come on up. Fishing on the accordingly. Rolling right off of that, Third place, level four, most billfish release points. And the first place lady angler, they're gonna get $8,670 to the accordingly. This is gonna be for third place, level two, most billfish points. Second place, level four, most release points. And they had the first place junior angler, Desperado, Graymont had an interesting first evening. They're going to win $23,205. <laughs> now,
This is going to kind of uh, get interesting here right now. This is something that's very dear to the rotor. We talked about this at our uh, captain's meeting. This NC League category that we have, 50-50 uh, winner take all. First place Dolphin, not only in level one, but the winner take all. They're going to take home $79,725. Revival. Come on up here. So about 20 years ago, my niece was walking across the street in Williamsburg, Virginia, and she was struck and killed. My brother was on duty at the time and responded to his own daughter's death. So it led me down this path of trying to figure out how to get my brother back. And along the way, I found out there are more law enforcement, fire, and EMS who die by suicide each year than are taken by fatal assault. And it's because of the things that they have to respond to and the things that they have to, have to go through during their career. So my lifelong mission now is trying to save as many of them as I can. So I've been partnering with y'all and partnering with the Swansboro Rotary Club. We have saved more than 700 families. Being able to keep families together, keep marriages together, keep these guys in their careers that they love. So everything that y'all have done and everything that y'all are allowing us to do is absolutely amazing. I'm humbled. I don't know what else to say, but Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from my family's heart. I appreciate you so much. The tournament, you fishermen, y'all raised $66,000 to go to this NC Lee program. Now we take on the 5% that the Revival team has graciously donated. We can't thank y'all enough for that. We add that to it, and then the Rotary Club is going to make up the difference to present NC Lee $70,000. Second place, level three, largest blue marlin over 400 pounds. They're gonna take home $45,900 on the yellow fin. As y'all know, our tournament is a points-based tournament for level one. Second place, level two, the most billfish points. And then third place for level three, the largest blue marlin over 400 pounds. That combines for a check for $61,300 to the sea toy. Now we're gonna move on to our second place, level one billfish overall. For $30,800, the El Azul. This is going to go to the first place, level three, largest blue marlin over 400 pounds. The Christina Marie is going to walk away with $176,800. All right, this is it, show stopper. First place level one billfish, first place level two most billfish, first place level four most release points, first place lady angler on there for the game fish, winning $124,175 to the Marsh Madness crew, Captain Shane Bradford, get up here and get this thing. Friday morning, we kind of zigged and should have zagged. Had a very slow day on Friday. Uh, marked very few fish, caught zero fish. Saturday morning, right after line's in, we pretty much landed just on top of them. We just, Saturday was one of those days we couldn't do no wrong. That's for sure. I mean, we had the, the right crew, the whole nine yards. Everything worked out perfect. Uh, put on a show, got lucky. No, <laughs> everything went right. They jumped the right direction and caught them both. Yep. Uh, got very fortunate on that. And last bite, just a big short rigger bite. And we measured that one. It was, it was 400 pound fish. Yep. Uh, uh, fish are definitely legal to kill, but we decided she was worth more alive and she yeah. was dead. So I don't know. There's no words I can describe it. I mean, I love to do it. I've won the tournament a few times before, but to do it with my son in the cockpit with me, it's just mm -hmm. no words to describe it. Yeah. It's, it's very, unreal. Very cool to do it with my dad. Very fortunate we get to fish together all the time. Hopefully got many more to come. That's right. <laughs>